you get this extra week, and we talked about it before, it seemed like more game type situations. And you mentioned Saturday you wanted to see these guys play a little bit more, and it seemed like that's yeah, what this was about. Of, you know, put them in more situations. You know, you know, we had a second long, which seemed that we played what it was for third down, and then came back and moved it. And that's what these guys need to do. I mean, these quarterbacks and, and the guys just need to go play and do a bit more of that. And, you know, the other thing they don't want to put those kickers, instead of coming out and kicking all the kicks at the beginning, we tried to put them in more of a game type situation, and you know, they respond pretty well. Get some guys yelling at them and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, took timeouts and some things they may get in the game. So, uh, for the most part, they handled it pretty well. We'll see. Giving Birdsong an opportunity to run in the no huddle, quick offense, really picking it up, going all, going you know, down the field. You know, I mean, it seems like we play better when we go fast. I mean, it's, been, it's been around the way it's been right here for the last three years. So, you know, we played a little bit fast today, that last couple of series. I thought we moved the ball a little better. So, we got to get back in there a little more. And, you, want, you don't want to do too much that early because the defense needs to get their feet in the ground and be able to play. But we need to be able to do both and we've got to be able to practice both. So we'll probably see more of that as we go on. That Living. extra week, how do you how do you view that? Is it you said you wanted them to play, which an extra week makes it more difficult, but at the same time you get into some of this stuff. No question. I, mean, I think I, I, I personally like having two weeks of school. You know, the last couple of years we've gone right into that first game. You know, with the distractions of that first week of school and all that, whereas this time we've got two solid weeks prior to that first game. So it's good to be able to adjust the distractions and uh, do better. Started breaking into your scout team, and, and you had Witten that's as your two quarterback today. And well, it was, it, that wasn't really a scout team. What we did, we, we took our te- we took our twos and ran what Chuck would need to see that we're not getting from our offense, and then vice versa, we took our second defense. For, I think eight plays each. Mm-hmm. And, and we got a good, we as good a people as we could get, get the kind of looks that we want to get that we haven't got a chance to work this, this uh, camp so far. So uh, we'll probably get a little bit more of that. Well, what Rodney Allen really used his abilities as a wide receiver yeah, to transition yeah, to the corner spot. He's a long corner, you know, he's long, he's got great speed, he's got uh, good ball skills, and uh, he's developing really well over there. And I think you know, we got some good one for him and go along with a couple of other guys we have. So if they keep coming, we should be okay. Did you see some of the reactions and responses from the offense after the scrimmage come into practice today that you were wanting to see? Well, somewhat. I mean, we got to continue to get better. You know, we got we get some guys back. I mean, we got a couple of offensive linemen banged up. You know, Clint Van Horn not being out here and lost a couple of other young guys. So you know, we got to get those guys back as quick as we can. And, uh, and really, we should get should, should get at least one of them back tomorrow. So. With Corey Tyndall, how has he handled the transition to upperclassmen, to guy that isn't looking up to guys? He's the guy being looked up to. Yeah, I think he's done, you know, he, he, he was like that as a freshman. He took that leadership role when he was a true freshman, not a true freshman, a redshirt freshman. Right. Handled it well, handled last year as a sophomore, so it's really nothing new to him. He's been doing it for the last couple of years. Nick Matthews, 87 in the slot. I mean, it, you know, he yells out to those guys, all these guys out here, and he throws it to the walk on because that's a guy that's built some trust in him. He makes plays and making plays, and I don't care if he's a walk on or a scholarship guy, he can make plays, he's going to play. You know? and, uh, he's, uh, he showed up and keeps his mouth shut and goes to play hard, and he's, you know, he'll get rewarded for it. It seemed like yesterday you were bringing DJ Hunter to campus. And, and now they're calling him Moses because he's the old guy on there. I mean, seems like he's been around. I'm not sure he's quite sure he's Moses, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's been around a long time. Been around longer as long as I have, I think. But uh, he's, a great, he's, a, he's a great kid. That's really you know, he could walk out here with a couple degrees and he's a tremendous football player. And uh, he's glad he's here. He and McKelvey, they've sort of been through yeah. know, through the junk and then through the through the good stuff too. Yeah, you know, McKelvey was I think was a gray shirt type guy. Came in January, I think. So he's been here a long time too. And, I've you know, been through a lot of adversity, but he's handled extremely well, and uh, he's a real good player. Does that help those two grow like, together? And, and yeah, they've been together a long time. They've been roommates a while, too. So, yeah, they've been roommates for a long time since so the first, first relationship. And, uh, that's, that's good to see. But they're good kids. Okay, guys, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you.